Hello, this is Max Seabag and in this tutorial I will be showing you how to make variables. And I have some very good news and the good news is variables are much easier than most people think. It's actually very simple. Okay, so what is what is a variable? The variable has two things. It has a name and a value. It has a name and a value. And so what what the purpose of the variable is is we can get the value based on the variable name. So I'm going to hop in um two second. Yeah, so I'm now in a basic uh, map and what I'm going to do is create a timer and a trigger and the timer is going to activate the trigger on start with delay zero so it happens at the start of the map so this happens automatically and what I'm going to do is scroll down until I find this trigger action here set variable A to value B so I'm gonna set in the name of the variable so let's say this is a map where we collect uh, candy, so amount, amount of candy. This is my name, this is the name of the variable. And this can be anything. And then we say, okay, how much candy do we have? Let's say we start with eight candies. We start with eight candies. So what this means is that we have a variable that's called candy and the value is 8. Okay. So what does this actually mean? Okay. To illustrate how useful a uh, variables can be, I'm going to have a button that activates this trigger here. And this, but this trigger is going to have infinite calls, so we can call it multiple times. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use, I'm going to increase my candy. Th that's what I'm going to do. This button gives me candy. It's the best button ever. And I'm going to use this action here. Add value B to value of variable A. So the variable a we set the 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 name of the variable and the name of the variable is amount of candy amount of candy we have to make sure that we spell it absolutely correctly and then we increase the number amount of candy by 1 and what we can do now is we can display the variable with this trigger here, interface show text. And what we can do is combine normal text with the variable. So let's say we amount candy. This is normal text. And then we use the name of the variable here this is the name of the variable the name of the variable now what will happen here will it just print out candy amount of candy no it will not because we have said that this variable here we have a name that's called we have a variable that's called this this so that means that we will see the the value of the variable we will not see the name of the variable we will see the value of the variable so let's let's uh, try this okay so let's test the button and we see that it's 9 because 
it was as default 8, we increased it and we print it out and we can keep pressing the button and we can see that we are now displaying a dynamic kind of text here and this is so useful because we have uh, we can do so we can do so much else with triggers or I'm, I'm sorry variables so we can make an explosion with the power of the value of the variable so every so and we have a lot of uh, triggers here that com uh, compare values with variables and va variables with variables and we have a huge amount of control in our map when we know about variables so i hope this was useful and i will see you guys later thanks for watching